remembering that you are serving him, then you can never go wrong. We are all now sitting in this particular pandemic, wherever you are across the world. I hope that in whichever group you are, I've seen so many videos today, I'd like to make a reference to this because I know Donna did earlier, I know some of you did earlier. Social distancing. Guys, let's take this pandemic seriously because whatever said and done, it has come. And it needs to be treated with the respect that it deserves because the one thing you do not want to do is to be lying vertically looking at a hospital ceiling. Because that is the alternative. And it's happening all over. The world is going through this phase. It would be very silly for us not to recognize this. So wherever you are, please observe the basic, the principle of social distancing, wearing a mask where possible, washing your hands, all of that. Because that can save your life. And not only save your life, but save those that live with you. Save the lives of those that are live around you. So it's very important that you keep that in mind. Because when I was watching those videos, although it was incredible to see the crowds that have been gathering, be it in India, in Africa, in the Middle East, in Kazakhstan, in, in countries that I never imagined we were reaching. We have a feed right now going out to 200,000 people, yes, but to 200 different countries. And that has never been achieved before. But I'm saying to you, the pandemic is all over the world. All of us need to take it seriously. All of us need to observe that. So wherever you are, please respect the rules. Now coming back to this, the pandemic has given us a gift in a sense. Because of the fact that we are all in some form of lockdown in one way or the other. This lockdown, in a sense, means that we get to re-examine our own relationships. Our relationships with family, with friends, with neighbors. Things that we don't stop to take heed of now becomes critically important. It's a time for us to work on ourselves. We live in life in such a speed in such a rush, that urgency, unfortunately, takes away from the importance of our lives. There are two things that you need to remember. One, there are things that are urgent and there are things that are important. Urgent things will die out within the day. It would never even last a week at the most. Urgent things are things that we are rushing to accomplish. And usually urgent things fill up our entire day. Leaving out the important things. And life is actually achieved when we start achieving the important things. So the one thing that you can do and can do better right now is to work on yourself. The simple rule is called the 1% rule. The 1% rule simply goes like this. If you can be 1% better today than you were yesterday, your entire life starts to change. Just 1%. I'm not talking about 30% or 10%. 1%. So you must be able to judge what you were achieving yesterday and work on being better by 1% today. Now, if you can work on being better by 1% today, cumulatively, you will go up 37 times. You will improve 37 times within a period of a month. Such is the power of just improving 1% a day. Now, 1% is a very small margin. But you need to be 1% better physically, 1% better mentally, 
1% better in communications, 1% better in every skill that you have. Are you with me? Can I see you guys? Awesome. Are you with me? Awesome. Can we be 1% better? Yes? Can we be 1% better? 1% better today than we were yesterday. That is the target. Are you with me? So every day, every day, the target is to be 1% better. Are you with me? We are blessed in many ways because the world is going to go through some upheavals, some challenges right now. The world is going to go through an economic upheaval. In economics, we have two terms. One is a depression and the other one is a recession. A depression is 10 times worse. And what we are facing right now is a depression. This pandemic is going to hit all of us in every corner of the world. What we need to do is to recognize that there will be a new reality, one we all have to adjust to. And we are in the best possible space to do that. In this industry, we will be able to step out there and provide a solution in every nation, in every corner of the world. The thing that will help us all is the skill called entrepreneurship, which is the backbone of network marketing, which is the backbone of what we do. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see them. That's what I'm saying. Are you with me? Awesome. So what we are today is we are at a very critical time where we have to be prepared to go out to meet the world because this pandemic will eventually come to some sort of solution. And when that happens, when that happens, we have to go out into the world, but it'll be a different world. It will be a world which will be facing different challenges, but one of the things that it will face is unemployment. There will be massive unemployment in every nation that you're coming from. We are a solution moving forward. There is no better time for the industry that we are in than this period right now. When there is upheavals, when there is challenges, when there is a crisis worldwide, is the time that we as an industry can come into our own. When we started 22 years ago, we started right in the middle of a crisis. We started right in the middle of a number of crises that were hitting the Far East, in Hong Kong, where we live, where we started. And because of the timing, as it were, we were actually in a good place, the right place at the right time, for people needed, and just as much as they're going to be needing you, they needed us back then. They needed us. And as you go out into the world right now, they are going to need you. So what is the powerful aspect of networking that we do so well? We are entrepreneurs, first and foremost. We are global. We reach out across the planet and provide the infrastructure of a business right into your doorstep. Now, all of this you have heard before. All of that is not going to be the difference that you're looking for. The more important thing is 
can we trust? We have been around for 22 years. If there's one thing that defines us differently from every other company that you're ever going to meet, it's simply this. We have always regarded the whole world as being one. There is no country that we regard as being separate, no class, no caste, no culture that differentiates us, no color. We all belong to one race, the human race. And that is our strength. We need to come together to build. We need to come together to raise each other. So together we can make a difference in this world. And we have to put aside our differences and work together. The beauty about our business is we cannot be interested in where a person comes from, the language that he speaks, whatever his culture is or caste is or religion is, all of this doesn't matter because he's your downline. You learn to work with him. Are you with me? Are you with me? That's good. If I can see that every once in a while, that's awesome. Great. Now, the thing that I want to talk about today is critically this. When we build in network marketing, we build to last. So today I want to talk a little bit more about service. It's only when you basically go into the modality of service that we can basically help each other. So if you learn to serve all your networkers, your downline, so to speak, one after the other, as opposed to trying to lead them, be a servant leader, guide them, be by their side, let them build a relationship, let them learn to trust and follow you. Are you with me? <laughs> it's good to see that. For instance, say Chief and I began this journey so many years ago because just as I that you saw just now, my relationship with Japa was that of a friend. My relationship with Chief was that of a family. And from there comes everything else. So when you're building with family and everyone that comes in touch with you is family, everything changes. You start to recognize them as being part and parcel. There's no mistakes in meeting the people that you meet. You meet them because you were meant to meet them. They were part of your journey. Everyone that you meet is part of your journey. Now sometimes it takes a longer while to get someone in and that's fine. Six months waiting for Japa was simply worthwhile. It was an investment well spent. Are you with me? And Sometimes it happens instantly. Either way, either way, it needs to happen in its own time. What is more important is the fact that you build and continue in this journey together. Are you with me? So let me give you an example of why I started this, why I started this company and why we chose a cultural icon which was Mahatma Gandhi. Why we chose Gandhi was very simple. Gandhi, in essence, human race as being one. He fought for independence just as much as we are fighting for financial freedom. He fought for independence in his own way, both in South Africa and in India. His impact on the world was amazing. What moved me was I attended 
a conference. And in this conference, halfway across the world, in the West Indies, I saw this advertisement that was actually brought by an Italian firm. It's an Italian advertisement talking about Gandhi and his message. Gandhi always spoke about his message. His message was his life. His life was his message. Are you with me? But this advertisement was done by Italians for Italians. And I was watching it halfway across the world in the Caribbean and I realized the impact that this man had left in all our lives across the planet. And it made me 